Hey there team, this is Jay again, J6.2, and I've got to tell you, today I'm a little bit more excited than I should be, because as you know, uh, we believe nothing, right? We put everything we possibly can to the test, but this was pretty promising, and I want to show you why, all right? So let's go ahead, and yeah, I've got to have notes on these, man, so let me see here. All right, as you know, that we've been testing quite a few of the small accounts something that will work with a hundred dollars to two hundred dollars on a consistent basing even basis even with a little managing and if it's not managing with a little tweaking of the source code and we have a few that we're excited about but this is my number one i would say that i have uh, the most hope for for a small account, that is, for a small account. And this is that Quantum Emperor. It's tweaked a little bit. We're managing it a little bit, but so far, so good. And I don't know how long it's going to last. So here's our uh, Phase 2 update. And as you know, a Phase 2 is a forward test because once we acquire it, once we buy it or acquire it, uh, we back test it. Then after we back test it, we'll start forward testing it on a demo account. That's Phase 2. And Phase 3, we will... Uh, fund a small account and continue the test and the small account is anywhere between $100 and $500 normally normally so this EA we started this small the small account test uh, November 28th so let's just say uh, December so we're it's a little bit over a month basically the broker that we're testing this EA on is the Coinex demo and we're up 30 eight percent but here's the focus that i want to talk about today i love this it's back test results what the back test shows us as opposed to what the forward test shows us so in other words we want to know if when we go back in our forward testing the results of our forward testing does it match the back test results let's take a look Okay, let's take a look at this. This was our back test, and we only had one day, and that one day was January 2nd. So I want to know the gains that we made in the forward test, uh, January 2nd, would it be the same in the back test? Would the back test show the same type of results? Let's take a look at this for a second. Right here I said 1-1 uh, one, one to 1-3, one, and it only shows the 1-2. Uh, January 2nd that is here are the results now I tested that on the tester with 500 bucks and that it just made it easier because I was waiting for any drawdowns or anything like that and this is what the one day graph looked like from five hundred dollars to 512 so it made us uh, what 12 bucks now this is only back test here's the report the report says this is what I want you to take a look at the report says that it triggered seven trades seven trades net profit uh 13 bucks now this is what i want you to look at seven trades now with these seven trades let's look at the results the profit was what one dollar 88 cents per trade and here on the report the drawdown was only, check this out, maximum drawdown. And again, this is one day, so that means nothing. It's just a snapshot in time, uh, was 1.6%. That's maximum drawdown. Absolute drawdown was, what, $4 or some odd cents. And 1.64% again with relative drawdown. Now, here's the magic. This is what I got excited about. Let's go to account history. And we're going to go to oh, some more. Nope. These are closed. Okay, this is where the, the strategy tester here, the back test started. And it started right here. Now, when you see these negative ones, I actually placed those trades and I manually closed them uh, on on the second so I manually closed these trades from the 26 because I forgot to close the damn trades after Christmas so that was error uh, user error again so let's look at 
the time that it started on 1-2, which was Tuesday, January, January 2nd. Here we go. Let's look at how many trades. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 trades. This was the forward test. See why I'm excited? And this was the back test. 7 trades. Uh, profit trade, 188. Profit trade here with this is 187. So we're a cent off. If I can get that close, a forward test, that close to a back test, I'm in. Now remember, this is still with demo data, demo spreads, all of that crap. So I'm excitedly optimistic about what this thing can do. Now remember, we're still managing news. We're still managing the off and on, turning off and on of the EA. We're just not letting it go straight through. Let me show you why. Okay, let me pull this over here. This is why we manage it. Um, of course, this was the second. There were there was no news, uh, but on the third we had U.S. news. But look at this one right here. Something that I've noticed on drawdowns, and I'm right now we're uh, we're trading the pound, and I'm pretty sure the pound U.S. And I'm pretty sure an all day red flag euro <laughs> news item. I think it's going to affect us. So I'll probably turn everything off that's in profit. That's in profit. All right. So pretty excited about that. And if you'd like to test this particular one, this particular one, I think we're going to put this in our shared resource group. Not sure yet, but you can join our um, our Telegram group and it should have a link down there below. You can join that uh, our Telegram group for more for more updates. Thanks, guys. Go out there and make some real money.